Our son Diamo was born in 2003, severely disabled. He had cerebral palsy, he was quadriplegic and severe developmental delay. The concept of 3D scanning and 3D printing really started when we were looking something for him. Diamo passed uh, in 2012 and it was only really after he passed that we, the, the technology caught up to what we wanted to do for him when he was alive. What Andiamo does is we take 3D images of people, people who have long-term conditions and need uh, support to walk, and then we create a custom medical device like a spinal brace around the image, and then we 3D print it, and that means we can create a very lightweight, very effective uh, device very quickly. At the moment, it takes up to six months for a child to get a brace back, by which time if you're a kid, you've outgrown it before you've even got it back. All the children that we have seen so far loved what we gave them. All they needed was an orthosis that fit and off they went. You have to be tough to run a business and we've definitely had our moments. We did get to a point where we literally had less than 200 pounds in our, in our account and we told everybody in the team we cannot make payroll for the end of the month. It felt like all this amazing work we had done was suddenly going to disappear. But things have a way of working themselves out. We were chosen to enter the Global Creator Awards final and we went on to win $500,000 investment. The outcome of winning the award has meant we've been able to attract further investment. It means we're able to accelerate our plans. We've always had the ambition to solve the problem globally and we have the resources and the network and the connections now to make that ambition a reality. Our experiences with Diamo led to Andy Armo. It is his memory that drives us to solve this for every child like him globally.